everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. How many times have you dreamed of seeing all the Aesthetica Blondes in one video? We're going to do that today. I have many of them right here behind me to show you. We're going to do an epic try-on and a comparison in a lot of different lighting schemes coming up. today we'll get to crack the code on some of these blondes and really help you when it comes time to choosing the best one for you. So behind me I have 10 different blondes to show you today. The first one is the RTH61327 shown on Aesthetica's Ocean. Now this is a very warm blonde and perhaps the warmest blonde that I'm going to show you today. So let's take a look. RTH61327. It starts with a very light auburn color. It's got a caramely look to it. And then it's very heavily highlighted with a light gold blonde. That light gold blonde highlight does graduate into some solid light gold tips on this color. It really kind of neutralizes it. It's warm, it's dynamic, it's beautiful, and it is not a rooted shade. Next up, I'm going to show you R26613 RT8. I'm presenting it on Dina today. A short little angled bob cut with a very deep lace front and open cap. This color is a medium gold blonde. And then it's very heavily highlighted with a light gold blonde or a pale gold blonde. And that pale gold blonde really brightens it up, makes it a nice, a nice light gold blonde color and then it has a medium brown root and that rooting is visible from all around. This is more of a warmer tone blonde. So next, I am going to present R2418BT. Aesthetica does an amazing job of reaching out and capturing the most flattering blondes for everyone, and that generally falls somewhere in the neutral category. I know we all clamor for these ash blondes, but the truth is, unless it has a little bit of warmth here and there, sometimes they're not the most flattering for the most amount of people. Um, so we're looking at this color on violet. Violet is a short curly bob style cut, lace front, left monofilament side part. Just as cute as can be. Now actually this R2418BT is kind of the opposite of a lot of the other uh, 2418BTs that you see on the market from other brands. This one actually has a very warm dark gold base color. And it's heavily highlighted then with more of a lighter ash toned blonde. So because that base tone is very warm, I believe that this does read like a warm medium blonde shade. It is not a rooted color. It's very soft and beautiful and the highlight color is very obvious on the curl pattern. Next, I'm going to show you another blonde that I haven't really explored a whole lot before now, which is the R10-2480. 
and it is being presented on the very beautiful, very feminine style called Mackenzie. Mackenzie features a lace front and is open cap, long, lusciously layered wig. This is one of Aesthetica's most popular styles. So let's take a look at this color, 102480. So it starts with a medium ash brown shade, but then it is heavily highlighted with both a medium gold and a pale gold. And that is a very dynamic color and those gold highlights just really warm up the ash brown. So it's not terribly gold. It doesn't read gold, it doesn't read ash. It's just a beautiful, neutral, uh, medium blonde shade. It is not a rooted color. So next up, we're going to take a look at RH1488, and I'm showing it to you here on Blaze. Blaze is a luscious, long, just very, very sultry, curly style, and she has a lace front temple to temple and a left monofilament side part. So RH1488, it starts with a dark natural blonde. It's more neutral in tone. And then we have it have very heavily highlighted with more of a pale copper blonde shade. Um, now again, I do feel like no matter what light this is in, you're gonna pick up, up on some different things. Rarely do I see this as a warm color. A lot of times though, I do look at it as being more cool in tone and, and more neutral to ash. However, in certain lighting, you can really pick up on some of those really pale, uh, copper blonde highlights and it just kind of warms it up. So that's why I'm calling this a neutral. It is not a rooted shade, but it is very dynamic. You can see some of the chunkier, lighter pieces in there. So I think everybody anticipated this one being next. I'm gonna show you the color RH1488 RT8, which is the rooted version of the one that we just saw, RH1488. And I'll present that on my beloved Finn. This was a new style, I think for 2017. Gorgeous, long, or medium length, curly style. Just right up my alley. It has a little bit of a retro feel to it with the big, the big volume and curl. Thin features a temple to temple, very deep lace front, and then is open top sides and back. So let's take a look at the RH1488. As you can imagine, we're gonna look at those same kind of color combinations, which is a darker a natural blonde with some pale a copper blonde highlights. Again, a very changeable color depending on the light. I look at it as being more neutral. These next two colors in the blonde family by Aesthetica seem to be the closest 
and the most enigmatic like you you wonder should I get this one or that one they're very very close this is RH 1426 and I'm presenting it on the cutest little cut called Meg by Aesthetica Meg features a very deep lace front temple to temple and is open top sides and back but let's take a look at the R14 RH 1426 it's a light ash brown base color and then that's very heavily highlighted with a light gold blonde so again the combination of some ashes and some warmth give us a nice neutral tone it's very dimensional and very flattering this is not a rooted color There's a couple variations of the 1226 combination for Aesthetica. There's RH1226, there's 1226H, there's, R, there's R1226CHM. That's the one we're looking at here, the R1226CHM, and I'll explain here in a moment. It is applied to the style Brooklyn. And Brooklyn is just a gorgeous mess of curls. It's medium length. It has a lace front and a full monofilament top. It is a lot of hair, but look at this choppy beachy wave. Just gorgeous. So R1226 CHM is a deeper, a little bit of a deeper ash brown base than the 1426. In fact, this brown is a little bit more neutral um, than it is ashy. So kind of like a medium, neutral brown and then it's extremely heavily highlighted with a light gold blonde and then the highlights are more chunky in nature there are some finer highlights going throughout the whole style but then you'll see some chunkier pieces so that's what that chm stands for it's just more of a chunkier highlight application than the regular 1226 might be So this is the most fascinating color um, in the Aesthetica Blondes that I have known. This is the R613 BG14. It's shown on Ocean. This is one of the, those other rare colors. I think there's just a few styles that offer this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's kind of like an ombre shade. So there's a lot going on here. It's not a rooted color, but the base shade is going to be a dark neutral blonde. And again, in certain light, it kind of looks warmer. And then in other light, it looks very uh, deep and ashy in tone. Then what you'll find are some highlights and some underlights and some tips of a very pale neutral blonde. Let me try to show you here. You see those very pale tips? It's almost, it almost reminds me of a platinum. But where that's coming from is underneath. So 
So as I turn here, you can see where it's kind of that solid, neutral, dark blonde. And then underneath, it's going to sprout uh, this very pale, almost platinum blonde. So the last blonde that I'm going to show you today um, is the lightest and the ashiest, the coolest in tone of the Aesthetica blondes. So Aesthetica just came out with this color on this style. I think it's a fantastic combination. So the Silver Sun RT8 is an icy blonde platinum all over. Very, very cool. But then in there, you will also see uh, just some fine strands of a beige, a light beige platinum. Now what that does, it gives it some dimension. It doesn't warm it up at all. This is truly a very icy blonde. That's what they're going for. That's what makes it so beautiful. Uh, but that little bit of beige highlight, light beige blonde, beige platinum highlight, gives it that dimension. And that way it kind of calms the gray look of it. Now on camera, it comes across white, gray. Up close, you can really see some of that dimension that gives it just a little bit of a creamier appearance. And then that is on a medium brown root. And you can see rooting from all sides. Beautiful color for mainstream every single day. Um, I don't look at this as a fashion color. I think this is beautiful for anyone that loves a very light, cool blonde. So I really hope this video helped you crack the code on some of the Aesthetica Blondes that you've been wondering about uh, with the 10 different styles and colors that I showed you here today. I urge you all to go out to Wig Studio One to find these styles and all of the beautiful colors offered by Aesthetica. Have a wonderful day. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.